Hello, welcome to Electronics Education. This is Vincent Chan. Today we're going to start a new series on the device physics of bipolar junction transistor BJT. Device physics of BJT, bipolar junction transistors, part one. Introduction. Let's start with the PMP, bipolar junction transistor. A PMP, bipolar junction transistor. So here's the physical structure. You see the black material means the metal. The metal, the three terminal device, metal, metal, metal. And then there's the interface, the three interface between the metal and the semiconductor. The metal and semiconductor. Metal and the P-type semiconductor. So this type of Interface between metal and the semi semiconductor is the metal semiconductor junction. So actually, there are two types of characteristic for metal semiconductor junction. The one is the rectifying four bias reverse bias. It's called Schottky contact. But the second one is the non-rectifying. Non-rectifying means there's no rectifying effect. There's no four bias reverse bias. It's simply the characteristic, the nature of the junction. The nature of the metal semiconductor junction is very similar to a resistance. A resistance follow the Ohm's law. So this type of non-rectifying metal semiconductor contact is called ohmic contact. It's called ohmic contact. Okay? So, so although this is not an emphasis of this lecture, but I want to mention, all right, this type of metal semiconductor contact is non-rectifying. It's called ohmic contact. So three terminal represent emitter, base, collector. E, B, C. Emitter, base, collector. Again, it's the emitter, base, collector. And the width of the base, the width of the, the distance between two junctions is a very important parameter called base width. It's called base width, base width. And the left-hand side junction, left-hand side PN junction, on the left-hand side, the left-hand side PN junction is between emitter and the base. It's called emitter base junction denoted by EBJ. And the right-hand side PN junction is denoted by CBJ, called collector base junction. So just follow me. Got very, get, get, just very used to the left-hand side junction, emitter base junction, collector base junction, emitter base junction, collector base junction. On the right-hand side is the circuit symbol, the EBC. The circuit symbol, the EBC, the first junction on the left is associated with the emitter base junction from P to N, PN. And another junction is collector base junction. So PN and P, okay? So there's no need to put another arrow from another P to N because you get confused, right? Two arrow get confused. So we just put the arrow on the emitter side, then PN, P. So for the MPN bipolar junction transistor, here's the MPN, the same thing. It's the emitter base junction on the left, collector base junction on the right. So look at the circuit symbol. So look at the circuit symbol, the MPN, P point tor. And emitter base junction and the collector base junction. One of the learning objectives for this lecture, not just about the device structure circuit symbol, then you got to know about the mode of operation. Two junction, if we have only have the one junction, two modes, right? Four bias, reverse bias. So now you have the Two junction, that means you have the four combination. 
you have the four combination. Emit the base junction, collect the base junction, mode of operation. The first combination is 404. When emit the base junction is 4 bias, collect the base junction is also 4 bias. It's defined as the saturation mode. It's called saturation mode. The second mode of operation, let me plug uh, some battery. Hold on. I just charge the, the, the laptop, all right? So the second mode of operation is when the emitter base junction is reverse bias. Collector base junction is also reverse bias. When two junction are both put junction reverse bias, no current, cut off. The third mode of operation is the most interesting one. When the emitter base junction forward and the collector base junction reverse, it's called forward active mode. And the opposite of the four active mode is called reverse active mode. When the emitter base junction reverse bias and collect the base junction forward bias. I said the third one is the most interesting one. It's something that you need to remember. Okay, I don't expect you to remember everything from this table. So just take one. Just learn, just remember one thing at a time. At this moment, just remember when I'm asking you what is the definition of forward active mode, you said the emitter base junction is forward and collector base junction is reverse. So now, let's quickly review what we learned from the PN junction, the relationship between field and the potential. Field and the potential. So this is the PN junction, the area depression layer. The left hand side of the depression is full of a scepter ion. And the right hand side of the depression is full of the donor, positive donor ion. The field line is established going from the positive ion and the end touch on the negative ion's body. So electric field, electric field is built in established, then there's a potential distribution. So against the electric field, then potential goes up, right? Against the electric field, then potential goes up. Building potential is the potential difference across the junction. The potential difference, you can also say across the depression layer. But what's the concept behind all this? It's the concept of energy barrier. So if you multiply the previous diagram by a positive charge, Q. Then the shape is the same, but the meaning is different. The physical meaning is changed from potential to potential energy. If you multiply the previous potential distribution by a negative Q, negative constant, then it flipped, right? It upside down. It's the mirror image of the previous one, the, the left hand side. Right? It's the, 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 the mirror. And then, because the, the left hand side is the perspective for positive hole. And right hand side is the potential energy from electron point of view. So left hand side again is the potential energy distribution for hole. And right hand side is the potential energy distribution for electron. So in thermal equilibrium for a PN junction, for a PN junction in the thermal equilibrium, both carrier majority, the P type majority is whole, abundant. And the, and the majority for the N type is electron, abundant. So both abundant forces live in the low energy region. And the facing interface, they see the same potential barrier that got blocked. That's the thermal perspective. That's the thermal 
equilibrium condition for a PN junction. For a P PN junction. So if we apply what we learn onto on the bipolar junction transistor, this is the outcome. So potential energy for whole PNP, all right? So P and PNP, right? PNP, PNP. And barrier height is Q times building potential. And the other one is the PNP for, for potential energy for electron. This is potential energy for electron. So how to draw this? The mirror, right? You just put a mirror, the mirror image, like this. So what's the concept behind this? The concept behind this is same, is same. So for the PMP, PMP, the majority forces on for the p-type semiconductor, the hole live in the low energy valley. Facing base, they see a mountain, they got blocked. What about electron? For the electron, for the n-type semiconductor, the abundant group, the majority group is electron. But for the majority group, they live in a valley, a tub, hot tub. They got confined by the potential well. For the hole, they see the potential barrier. And for the electron group, they got confined by a potential well. So barrier and the well. That's the thermal equilibrium condition for a PMP bipolar junction transistor. This is the takeaway. So basically two takeaway. Number one, what's the definition of forward active mode? The emitter phase junction forward bias, collector phase junction reverse bias. Second, What's the concept of energy barrier or energy well for hole and the electron in the PMP bipolar junction semiconductor? On the left hand side, we see the majority group for the emitter and the collector, which is hole. The whole group, they see a potential barrier when they look to the base. And for the electron majority group in the base, they got confined by a potential barrier. That's the thermal equilibrium condition for a PMP bipolar junction transistor and explain, illustrate by the concept of potential energy or potential energy barrier or energy well. So we're gonna from take this as a starting point and to learn what happened when the transistor is biased in the forward active mode in the next lecture. I look forward to see you uh, in the next lecture and thanks for watching.